Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope the rain will not disturb too much in this recording. But there is a lot of topics that I have for you. And let's start with what is happening in Ukraine right now. Because yes, it has happened officially. Our new slash old Prime Minister Donald Tusk made it to Kiev. He made it east. You remember when I recorded a video not long time ago and Ukraine was complaining that the new Prime Minister has not yet visited Ukraine? Well, he just did. He's in Kiev now. And I have some remarkable words that he just said while meeting with Zelensky. I'm not gonna read you the entire speech because why shall we really waste our time? But few words are important. So, <laughs> this is exactly from uh, Tusk, from Donald Tusk. It could not have been another capital, it had to be Kiev. The first capital I visit after the elections in Poland. That's right. Remarkable sign of something, no? I remember, Tusk continued, our first meeting in Ukraine as if it were today. And he's addressing this to Zelensky. You were a novice, like he was just brand new president at the time. You deeply believed in the mission, hear this out, you deeply believed in the mission to bring peace to Europe and Ukraine. We talked at length during our trip to Kharkiv and to the front line that existed at the time. And you spoke with great conviction that peace was possible. This is how Tusk is uh, bringing up what was the idea of Zelensky's presidency, what was the vision, the mission, I mean, really. Peace, right? But there is more, listen to this. There is no more credible peacemaker in the world today than President Zelensky. Those are words from Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk. I repeat this one more time and maybe I should use it as a title of this video. There is no more credible peacemaker in the world today than President Zelensky. Someone said, Tusk continue, that there is a place in hell for those who pretend to be neutral in times of moral conflict. He added, pointing out that in such a political hell like we are right now, there are those who pretend to be neutral in assessing help for Ukraine. So, in a nutshell, there is no one who is more peaceful than President Zelensky. He's the most credible peacemaker. So this is what I have from his visit. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how long this visit will be. I haven't checked it, I have to admit. I'm not sure if it's just one day or two days. Meanwhile, the one and only Mr. Siegiel Lavrov just arrived to New York City. And this is from TASS, from today, January 22nd. Lavrov arrives in New York to participate in UN Security Council meetings. According to TASS correspondent, the minister's plane flew from Moscow to the United States via the Northern Road, bypassing unfriendly nations, which took that flight 12 hours and 45 minutes, so almost 13 hours. Russian journalists accompanying Lavrov on the trip received U.S. visas without a 25-mile travel restriction, as was the case in September during the UN General Assembly session. So there is, I guess, some progress. 
According to TASS correspondent, all representatives of the Russian media were issued a single entry, type 1, journalist visas before departure. Their visas are valid until April this year. So this is what's happening. Uh, Mr. Lavrov is in New York. But let me see what else I have for you. Oh yes, I have this for you. Two more topics. So when Duda, Polish president Andrzej Duda, was in Davos, he gave an interview to Fox News. What I'm going to do, I will um, attach the link, original uh, interview, which was translated into English, of course, so you can watch it. But the key points from this, I want to start with this. He was interviewed by Maria Bartiromo, which probably most of you who are watching me know. And I don't know if many of you know that she actually is the graduate of World Economic Forum. Because there is something that is called the Forum of Young Global Leaders. When you go on the main page of World Economic Forum, you will see that uh, Forum of Young Global Leaders and many names like Zuckerberg is there, uh, she is there, many people that you will recognize. So what is this really? Let's start with her first. Klaus Schwab, founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, created the Forum of Young Global Leader in 2004 to help the world to meet increasingly complex and interdependent problem. Now, side note from me, which they create before. His vision was to create a proactive, multi-stakeholders community of the world's next generation leaders to inform and influence decisions making and decision making and mobilize transformation. And she is the graduate of this, but I think I have more about this. Yes, because this is quite interesting. You know, sometimes we think certain people may be good. Through the Forum of Young Global Leaders, Klaus Schwab envisioned facilitating earnest dialogue and friendships across cultures to bridge divides, fostering fresh thinking and dynamic new ways of collaboration to shape a more positive, peaceful and prosperous society. LOL. <laughs> this is the vision, OK? Yep. So Maria is the graduate of that. Now let's go to this interview. So she interviewed Dugopis, our president, Andrzej Duda. And in that interview, he was also asked about Donald Trump. But before we go into what he answered, he said this, a close alliance between Poland and the United States, the strongest is the strongest Euro-Atlantic ties, in my opinion, it is the interest of Polish and Europe, but also the interest of the United States. Historical experience teaches us that the closer the ties are the ties between Europe and the US, the safer Europe will be and the greater the chance that we will be free from Russian influence. That's what Duda said. Now, what did he say about Donald Trump? But before I do this, let me find the page, guys. I'm trying to my best because it's raining and I'm holding this. I have to say before I find this page, oh yes, here. Uh, I remember very, very well when Duda was actually visiting United States. It was during the Shmovit era. I think he was one of the first leaders. I don't know what was it. They lifted the restriction on travel or something. Anyway, he visited President Trump and I was thinking to myself, wow, this was like the first leader of the country during the Shmovis time who actually came to US and I will never forget how you know you know how they are like all you know happy and loving and all of this and I was thinking no 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 that's a, I was thinking that's a, that's a, actually if you know maybe that's good you know things are good who knows right but they flip-flop so they smile to Trump, then they smile to Biden, and then they smile to whoever. If you're wondering what was happening, this uh, security uh, gentleman was thinking that I want to enter the building, but I'm just protecting myself 
from the rain. So Duda mentioned in this interview that in the first half of 2025, Poland will take over the presidency of the Council of the European Union. And he also said about, okay, sorry guys, I'm confused here. He said about Donald Trump, where is this? I think it's on the back page, yes. Okay, here. He said this about Trump. At the same time, the politicians made it clear that the decisions belong to the Americans. First of all, the choice belongs to the voters in the United States. And I must say that I think that it is at this is at least inappropriate if politicians from Europe try to tell Americans what kind of president they should choose. This is what Duda is saying. It is the American people who elect the president and it is Americans who know what kind of president is the best for them. So um, he mentioned that during the Trump's presidency, Poland had a pretty good relationship uh, with the United States. And um, yes, right here. And he also said, Yes, that during Trump's presidency, Poland had a very good relations with the United States. The US president has become involved in the cooperation of the three seas countries. We have signed many fundamental economic contracts for Poland, including for the, including for the supply of liquid fire gas. And we have started serious cooperation in uh, the construction of the first nuclear power plant in Poland. So now when Trump is running and Duda's presidency is coming to an end very soon, um, I think he's been, how many years now is he here? Six years or seven, I have to double check. He's probably flip-flopping on the other side again. But I have one more information. Let me just find this for you. And this is um, coming from Yes, right here. Bear with me, guys. Thank you so much for your patience today, but the weather is, you know. Okay. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania. I want to read this to you. So, what did he say? Well, his name is Gabrielus Landsbergis. So, all the Lithuanians, if there are any watching me, put in the comments down below. Guess what he said? actually posted on Twitter or X now, he said this, that we need to change our strategy from as long as it takes, as far as helping Ukraine, to whatever victory takes. So what would victory take? Let's compare Poland's recent uh, help in the military equipment that Poland has provided to Ukraine and Lithuanians, he said. I will put the link to that post he, of his and you will see a map. And on that map you will see like a drawing kind of uh, of how many tanks and other military equipment Poland has provided. And he's comparing this to Lithuania, I believe. But now it's not just whatever it takes, whatever it takes for the victory, right? So they are not giving up. They're just going to sacrifice more people. But for sure, the most peaceful person, you know who it is. So that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience with me today and my flipping pages because the weather is a little challenge. And all the links to the articles you find down below this video as well as to my Instagram locals rumble mailing list if you choose to buy me a coffee i very much appreciate thank you so much for that for, for your all support and i will see you in the next video lots of love and remember we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity bye everyone